right. Well, it's just 4.30 now, but we're still expecting some kids to come on. Uh, I do want to tell you a couple things. One is that um, the chat box is kind of far away from me today, so I can't really see it. So I'd rather you stay unmuted if it's not real noisy at your house, and then you can talk to me um, rather than trying to type because I can't really see it. So um, we're just waiting for everybody to get everybody in here. So we've got 15 kids signed up. Um, can you guys tell me if I'm loud enough? I can hear you. Yeah. I can't hear you. We're going to have a, oh, here. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not, it's not I need somebody to test. No, can you talk? Hi. Hi, Blair. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Hi. Hi, Kennedy. Who else is there? Is Colin, is Colin there? I don't think Colin's there yet. Oh, hello. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hi, Callie. Hi, Colin. Hi, Megan. Hi, Colin. Hi. And I, this is Klein, otherwise known as Laura the Library Lady. And Colin and Callie, I was just telling everybody that we're going to try um, leaving your microphones on unless you want to mute them if it's real noisy at your house or you have dogs barking or something because I can't really see that that far away. Um, and so, you know, sometimes we have people type questions in the chat, but we're going to try just talking today. So you're welcome to talk as long as you don't talk over top of me because I'm the one doing the program today. So welcome to Virtual Kids to Create, Snowman, Jars, and Peppermint Bark. And I think some of you got this little guy, and some of you got the bigger one, or you might have got two of these. And I don't get to make a whole lot of stuff on the Snowman Jars. Oh, we did the no. face already, and I'll tell you why we did the face already. And that's because when we tried to do it in person here one time, and we tried to paint the little face, and then we put the scarf on, the scarf kept sneaking up and messing up our paint on the face. So that's why we paint the face. Um, the little jar, I think, is going to be better for keeping little things in. Like, um, actually, if you have cotton balls or something and you want to just make it a decoration, if you filled it with something white, it would look like a snowman. I put sprinkles in mine because sprinkles are small because the top's a little bit small. So if you had M&Ms or sprinkles or something, you might want to use the little guy for that. Um, maybe not quite so much the peppermint bark that we're going to make today. If you got the guy with the orange hat who's a little bit chubbier and rounder, you might be able to keep your peppermint bark in there. But the first thing I want to see um, if we've got everybody on. And I can't tell. So we're just going to start off with a snowman joke and then we're going to get right into it. So my first joke, I've got six jokes for you today. We'll see if I get through all of them. What do you get when you cross a snowman with a vampire? Anybody know? Anybody want to take a guess? What do you get when you cross a snowman? Frostbite. <gasps> frostbite. Mackenzie, you got it. That's right. Frostbite. Everybody get it? Because the snowman is frost and the vampire is bite. Ha, ha, ha. Supposed to be funny. All right. Well, the first thing um, that we want to do is we want to crush up our candy that we're going to put on top of our peppermint bark. So if you had your candy cane or you had some other candy at home, I took the scissors and I, well, first of all, I washed my hands. Did you guys wash your hands? Because you're going to be using food here. So, okay, Mackenzie's going to go wash her hands. I think Callie and Colin raised their hand that they washed their hands. So we want to be healthy and you know sanitary and clean and everything. So we want to wash our hands. And then if you've got your candy cane or if you have some other candy at home or sprinkles that you're going to use, you want to get those out. And I put my candy cane, mine was kind of broken anyway. So I put it in a baggie. If you don't have a baggie, you could put it between sheets of wax paper or parchment. And here is where it gets really fun. You get to beat on it and smoosh it all up. 
So you do want to be careful, like you don't want to bang on it with your meat mallet or your hammer on top of your mom's nice counter or on top of a plate or anything that's going to break. So what I did was, you know, I put it in the baggie and I actually have a little piece of cardboard here, but if you're on a counter, you should probably be okay. I'm on top of a refrigerator here, so I'm going to put it on top of the cardboard. Um, when I did it over here earlier, I just put it on top of the counter and it didn't hurt anything. Sometimes if your mom's nervous about her countertop, you might have to go like down the basement and do it on the concrete. And you don't want to smack it too hard because you don't want all the candy to fly away. Again, I was going to show you guys um, if you want to use the scissors to get the wrapper off. That might be a good idea if you can pick it off. Does somebody have a question? Kennedy, did you have a question? Yeah, I went to wash my hands. What did I miss? What are we doing right now? We are going to crunch up our candy cane. So we put it in the in a bag and then we crunch it up? Yep. yep. Okay. So I put mine in a bag. Mine was already broken. I'm going to put it do, we keep it. do we keep it in like the paper? Or do we take it out of that? No, that's what I was just saying. You want to take it out of the paper or plastic wrapper. And you might want to use the scissors if you can't pick it apart. So I put a picture of a meat mallet on your handout. If you don't have a meat mallet, a little bit of hammer. If you don't have that, you might even use well, just a can opener. But what I was saying um, was, I don't want you to do it really hard because your candy would all fly out possibly and then lose it and make a mess. And maybe you might make a hole in your bag and then it would all come out and you wouldn't have it. So we're going to just try smashing it with some different stuff here. I'm going to try my meat mallet. Okay, ready? I think you muted yourself. We can't hear you. I didn't do that. Where is the meat hammer? We need that. I can't you just use your hand? No. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Well, thanks for telling me. Okay, so everybody's kind of hammering. Does this look good? Oh, yeah. It could even be a little bigger than that if you didn't get it that small. I'm going to leave it as it is. Don't smash your finger. I accidentally like hit it. I accidentally hit it. I kind of don't like my cardboard. I'm just right over here on the countertop. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try the can opener. I don't think it's going to work really well. I've got a big snowman and a small snowman. Yeah, I was trying to give everybody a big and a small until I ran out. What do we do with these? Okay, now we're going to set that aside. You're not going to use it right now. Okay, because like you were talking about it before, so. Yeah, we're just we're getting it ready so that it's ready when we are ready for our spark. So I'm going to set that aside. And I'll get rid of my stuff. And the next thing you want to do is take your little tin can. Get your wax paper or parchment paper. And really the only um, thing that I need this for is so you're gonna be able to get the bark out easily later. You don't want the bark to be all stuck down in there. And I actually put some tape on mine. I'm gonna put a little bit of tape just on the outside. You don't have to. What the? You just turned it down. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so what do we do here? Well, I want you to get a piece, maybe like a foot long, like 12 inches long of your wax paper or your parchment paper. That looks good. But I want you to put it all the way down in and over the sides of your little tin can, you know, all in a foil can. 
because you don't want it to curl over. You want a nice big open space before your chocolate. A little bit of trouble with the wax paper. That's okay. And I did tape mine because it kept trying to curl up on me. It kept trying to roll. Okay, so now we got that ready. What do we do after we get that? I'm going ahead. You don't have to ask me. I'm going right ahead. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to melt the chocolate. So your um, recipe kind of tells you to do it together, but I did it separately. You can probably do it either way. I just took my um, microwave safe disc and I opened up my chocolate. What chocolate, the white or the brown? Well, we're going to do the brown first. Don't eat it. I know it smells good, but don't eat it. And I wrote on your instructions, um, because we're making a smaller batch than the instructions say, I wrote in there that, you know, instead of doing it for 90 seconds in the microwave, you might want to do it at 50% power for just maybe like 15 seconds. We ended up, I ended up, um, when I tested it, we doing it for about 45 seconds, but I did it in three increments. So my microwave, I have to put 15 seconds, and I put power level five. That's half power, and then I do my start. So do we dump it in this um, thing dump it here? In your microwave? No, you're gonna dump it in your microwave safe dish. You have like a Pyrex or a plastic or whatever you're gonna microwave. Is anybody doing it on the stove? You're gonna have to tell me because I can't see chat and I can't see everybody. Everybody's doing it in the microwave. Do you want it in this? Do you want it in this bowl? Yes. The microwave yes. it. Yes. Okay. So I got out my little plate to keep my spoons on. So that my Be back. Mom doesn't you know, get upset with me for putting things on the counter. And this isn't really too hot, but it, you can't guarantee in the microwave that it's going to be you know, hot or not. So you want your adult to help you with that, and you probably need a pot. Mm -hmm. And it might not look like it did anything, but once you start to stir it, even after only 15 seconds, it's starting to melt. It might still keep its shape a little bit until you start to stir it. So I'm just gonna stir it a little bit. And I'm gonna put it back in. And I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again three times for 15 seconds and stir it every time. Stir it. Kind of neat in the microwave how it kind of keeps its shape but once you cook it, it's good. And it'll even I'm really it. it'll keep melting um you know even after it's out of the microwave because it's hot. So do we keep putting it in at the in the microwave? Yeah, putting it in the microwave. Until it's all like soupy. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know if you can see. It's pretty soupy. Put a little bit of punk in it, so put it in for my last 15 seconds. That'll be my third time that I feel like. When you get done with your dark chocolate in the microwave, you're going to pour it into your little pan. So get that ready. 15 seconds and power level five. Oh, I dropped my joke. So I was supposed to make a joke on my joke. <laughs> okay, what do snowmen wear on their head? No? Ice caps. Hats. Are you Hats. Ice caps. Oh. All right, I'm going to pluck it out. It's probably hotter now, so be more careful. And I'm going to pour it into you. Okay. I want to cover up the bottom, so I kind of want to go back and forth a little bit. And if I've grown up in your spatula, maybe for this. What are we doing right now? Once your chocolate is done, you're going to pour it into your aluminum pan. So pour it into the silver? You have to put your wax paper in the silver pan, right? Uh, this. 
and I try to scrape it out pretty much and so we have a lot of this. And then we're gonna just kind of smear it around so it covers up the bottom. And on my little key rest plate so I don't get everything all messy. And then I'm gonna go to my other Tyrex. They can't get it to work. And remember, everybody can hear everybody. So if you need to mute yourself, go ahead. But if you have a question, then go ahead and ask. Me. Okay, so um, you got your chocolate poured into your little silver pan. You're going to take your white chocolate. And you're going to put it in the microwave just like you did the other one. So I'm going to do 15 seconds. Did you guys see my spatula? <laughs> That's pretty. <laughs> no flakes, thank you. And it's about one second left. Here it comes. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to get my second spoon. And just pour it. And it's starting to melt a little bit, but I'm going to tap it off so I don't keep any on my spoon. Really. Not very hot. Put it back in. 15 seconds on power level five again. Okay, my next joke is what did Jack Frost say to Frosty the Snowman? Have an ice day. Get it? Instead of have a nice day, have an ice day. <laughs> and that joke. Have an ice day. All right, I'm going to get out my spoon again and stir. Ooh, it's getting there. There's a little bit less of the white chocolate, so I might just do 10 seconds the last mm -hmm. time, the third time, instead of doing 15. I'm going to go 10 seconds, power level five, and I'm going to get ready to pour the white chocolate on top of the brown chocolate in the silver pan. <laughs> I'm just going to pour it right on top, and it doesn't matter if it mixes up because it's going to look pretty. Kind of get it um, in a line or close to the pan. I think I got pretty much all my white chocolate. I might use my spatula. Break it all off. And Once the white chocolate's melted, do we pour it into the pan with the with the brown chocolate? Yes, and I just said that. So if you pay attention to what I'm telling you, hopefully you will know what's coming next. Well, it's hard for me to hear. Okay, and then I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just spreading out the white on top of the dark chocolate spatula or a knife or your spoon or whatever. And you can kind of make some circles, whatever you want. If you want to make it look kind of marbled. If you can see that a little bit. That's how I did mine. I don't want to hold it for good too long. And now I am going to, oh, you know what I forgot? Totally forgot my mint extract. I apologize, guys. I totally forgot my mint extract. You could, if you still didn't pour your chocolate and you have mint extract and you want to put a couple drops in there, if you didn't pour it in the tin pan yet, go ahead and do that, but you don't need a whole lot. I kind of think that the chocolate's going to be good enough. Um, this was optional anyway, the mint flavoring, because you're going to have your candy cane. I apologize, I'm sorry. If you didn't pour your white chocolate though, you can still mix it in and it's right into the bowl. With the See, that's the problem with my throat. I'm gonna put a little bit of sprinkle on top of my chocolate. I'll just make it look kind of cute. I'm going to get my candy cane that I smooshed up. 
Now we can the candy cane in once we got that done. Yeah, you want to sprinkle your candy cane on top. After we get the white chocolate on, okay. The white chocolate on. And I'll kind of try to show you what mine looks like without spilling it. That's what it looks like. And it might look different. Ooh, I'm just going. If you had um, M&Ms or something different to put on, it would look a little different. If you put colored sugar or some other kind of candy, it would look a little bit different. So that is what it looks like. Now you make the bark and now you have to leave it alone and let it set up. You might want to put it in the freezer. I made this one this afternoon and I put it in the freezer. So voila, it comes out really nicely now because it's really hard. So later on, hours or tomorrow, you'll probably be able to get out your wax paper, paper and take your whole bark out. At Flip it over and kind of hammer on the back of it to break it up. It's different, you know, little sections of candy. So here I go. Woo! So be careful while I'm flying. I might have a little bit more, but now I've got my bark. So I'm going to try it. Give it a thumbs up. Mm. A little frozen. We might have to wait when you take it out. My dad can't get the white job so. Uh -oh. Ours didn't melt very well either. We just put it on there anyways. <laughs> hmm. So, yeah. Mark, I think it tastes the same. I try this. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's the beauty of having this thing. Yeah, you can look the same. Don't get it too much. Instructions tell you to cut out the little ball or the ball. That ahead. It looks like cottage cheese. <laughs> You're right. The white chocolate could look like cottage cheese. It didn't melt very well, but it's stir like it up and it'll be okay. Stir it up. Okay. So if you get to this point, maybe you're done with your um, candy. And you want to do your uh, snow globe, you can glue or glue stick or something and put the base on, probably first. So you can grab your snow I've got a glue stick and I'm going to stick the base on. So that's what my snow globe looks like with the base. And I'm going to put my snowball. I'm going to put the black side down. So I'm going to put the blue on the black part where I, you know, use two lines to cut. I don't really want that black part to go. Just a quick one. Mm -hmm. Just a quick one. Yes. Couple of snowman. Snowball there. Do you want to do it? Yeah. I hear some candy shaking. So what do we do after we get the peppermint in? Did you put your candy on? Yeah. Okay, then you're going to want to put it in the freezer. Yeah, and yeah. then in a couple hours or tomorrow, you'll take out your 
wax paper, put it upside down on some other wax paper and kind of smack it with the hammer and it's going to get smacked into little pieces and then you can eat it. But if it was in the freezer, it's a little bit hot. In the meantime, I'm making my snow globe. So what are you doing now? This is the craft. In your bag. And the first thing it tells you is cut out your little snowballs. Where's that blue paper? So I cut out the little snowballs and cut out um, these. Yep. Okay. And then I use blue. Paper. Put my snowflakes on. And then alongside, that's going to be my snowman. Now I'm getting sticky. I was all nice and clean for the cooking part. I'm going to use blue. get to put their candy cane sprinkles on top. How did everybody's come out? Kennedy, you got yours done? Delicious yeah. looking. Delicious looking, okay. Mackenzie, how's yours looking? Here, you can give me a thumbs up if you don't want to undo. Really cool. Very Why cool. would they give you a plastic? Why don't you ask her? No, you. No, because you're doing this thing. Sure, you have a question. Go ahead. Talk. Go ahead. Anybody who has a question can just shout it out if they want to, or if you want to, you know. She, she doesn't want to ask, so I'm going to ask for her. Okay. She didn't do the craft you were doing. She's doing the snowman, and we got a little sticker that's the shape of a knife. What is it for? Oh, that's a snow drift. You didn't get one a of these? What? It's a snow drift. It's like a piece Yeah, she did, she did get the snow globe. She just wanted to start oh. the snowman. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, like a drift, you said? Random snow so it would go drift. along the bottom? It can go anywhere you want. <laughs> anywhere your mom left you stick stick. Those are just kind of some random <laughs> in there. I think there might be a penguin and some random snowflakes and stuff. But anyway, this is my snow globe, and I just need to get my markers out and give him a hat, a face, and make some it a snow globe. Snow globe. So if you got your jar, you should have gotten a couple different scarves so you could kind of interchange the scarves. And I just tied it in one knot, but you could tie it in two knots if you want, or you could do it real tight. I like this red stuff because it's stretchy. So we um, make this into a little snowman too? You can, I like this guy because he's so cute. And the idea is that you can keep candy in him, except the, the skinny one is maybe a little bit too skinny. So you feel my bar doesn't want to fit all the way down in there, so. I end up using mine for sprinkles, but if you just wanted to, you know, put some cotton balls or something in there, and make him a little bunch of packs of Smarties and put it in here. You could know, take some other small candy, yes, M Ms or Smarties or something, put them in there, and I like him because he's got his little hat. And you can also make this into a snow, into like a candy holder. Yeah, the big jar. That's a snowman too. And oh, I see. Mackenzie's got her scarf on the. It has sugar stuff in it. It does. I thought I washed them all out. It, it might be iced tea. Those orange one with the orange caps, they were from iced tea. Iced tea mix. These ones were from cream. Just clean it out. Yeah, wash it out. Sorry about that. All right, I have a couple more jokes for you. What did the snowman's hat say to the scarf? Kennedy, do you know? You're having a snowrific day. You hang around while I go on ahead. 
Get it? Yeah. <laughs> right. Two more. I think these are better. What did the policeman say when he saw the snowman stealing? What do you think a policeman would say? Freeze! <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I like this one because I'm hungry. What is a snowman's favorite type of Mexican food? Burritos. <laughs> well, we are out at the end of our time here, and let me tell you what's coming up next month for Virtual Kids Create. Mrs. Brant is going to make chocolate bombs, and those are hot cocoa little balls of chocolate. So you're going to be melting chocolate again next time. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, I see somebody's got her snow globe done. Yeah, if anybody wants to hold up anything that they have done. I see Blair's got her. I'm trying to cut excess pieces of his scarf off. Sometimes kids need help with scissors because the scissors are big and it's hard to cut fabric. And don't forget to tell your mom and dad that you'll help them clean up. Oh, we have fabric scissors. All right. Does anybody have any final questions or anything? Comments? So I'm going to come around and see if I can get to the last one. Thank you. You're welcome without being in your face too much. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Welcome, Mackenzie. Bye, Kara. Bye. Bye, Blair. Bye. Bye. See you next time. Nice, Kennedy. Oh, I know I can do this. I can put little marshmallows in here. Oh, that'd be really cute because then it'd be white. Yes. There's a little piece. I'm going to eat it. All right, don't forget to help clean up. Thanks for coming. Thanks, Callie. Thanks. That's so nice. Callie. Good job, Callie. It's really Okay. Thank you, Laura. I should use a stretchy for this guy. Thanks, Laura. That was fun. Later. <laughs> yep. Yay, I love it. Nobody did anything. It was my dad moving the sink.